Oh, hey guys, let's talk about a few more pro tips in Flash. I'm going to open up this file that I've been working in, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about symbols. So we've talked before about graphic symbols, and you'll notice over here in the library that I've got four graphic symbols that I've been creating over the past couple of tutorials. And graphics are really nice because what you see is what you get. It's basically, I can scroll through and I can see exactly what's happening. And that's the nice thing about graphic symbols. Graphic symbols are also nice because I can stop it on an exact frame that I want. So say I want this frame to hold, I can come over here to looping and I can say single frame, frame, I don't know, six, for example, and I can make it stay on that frame. And that's really handy for when we're doing our flipbook, like I did in the previous tutorial, where I talk about how to do sprite sheets. They're called flipbooks or sprite sheets in video games. So let's set this back to uh, play once. So to play all the way through and then hold on the last frame, but then it's gone for that last frame. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about how movie clips are different from graphic symbols. So with the movie clip, I have more options and I'll show you what those are here. So this guy is animating around, but let's say I want to put a glow on this thing. Well, I could come out here and say, okay, I want you to be a movie clip. So I can click here and say movie clip. And then under filters, which is the last option, you might have to scroll down to get to it. I can add a filter and I can do a blur and that'll fuzz it out. I don't want to do a blur. I can also do a glow. Sweet. Glow. Let's make this thing glow yellow. We'll make the quality high. You always want to make the quality high, by the way. And then you can blur it out and you make it really nice and hot. It's like sweet. I got this awesome glowy energy, whatever. But then you'll notice something. When you try to scroll through it, it doesn't work. Well, that's because movie clips don't preview on the stage. I think maybe in later versions of Flash they do, but the reason why movie clips don't preview, there actually is a good reason, um, is because movie clips are designed to be used as game objects, or rather as um, basically, yeah, like scripted objects that you can play around with. So I'll show you what I mean. If I come in here and I go to blink layer and then I bring out my actions panel, which is F9, is the hotkey. And first off, I have to give my movie clip a name. So I click here on movie clip and under instance name, I'll name it fire end. So then on my actions panel, come back up here, I can say fire anim dot go to and stop, I don't know, frame six. And then I save and hit control enter. We'll notice that what's happening is it's playing through and it's hitting frame 30 and then looping back around. So it's always playing this action script over and over again. And the action script is telling it fire animation to go to and stop frame six. If I want the timeline to stop so it doesn't blink like that, I just simply say stop. And then I hit control enter and it now stops on frame one and it makes this guy go to and stop frame six. Something really cool is I can say fire anim dot play. And now the fire anim is looping, but we're never getting to this part at all. In fact, we're not even getting to frame two the timeline is staying on frame one, but it's telling the fire inside of the symbol to play. So that's the power of movie clips. It's kind of crazy, I know, or whatever. But the thing that we care the most about for the purpose of these tutorials is that glow. Now, how do we get the glow and the advantage of the graphic symbol so we can actually see our animation in real time? I'm going to show you. Switch this guy back to a graphic. You'll notice that the glow disappears. It's all gone. And the instance name disappears. If I switch it back to movie clip, all that information is gone. So remember that. 
And then I can click here. I don't want it to return an error, so I'm just going to delete my action script there. I can come inside, and I want this yellow part to glow, so I'm going to hit F8, and I'm going to do movie clip. And I want it to glow that yellow color. I want it to be high quality. And I don't know why you'd ever want a low quality. Maybe if you have like a low end machine, maybe trying to run a flash game and there's a lot of glowy movie clips that might have something to do with it. All right, so I got the yellow glowing in there and then I can select by holding shift, I can select both fills, hit F8, movie clip, and then I can do a glow here and we'll make that glow more of an orange. Make that guy high quality. Now, putting the glows on with movie clips is probably better done is as more of like a post-process thing, meaning I recommend actually animating all of your frames first before you go back in and add glows because now to edit these frames, I have to go inside of the frame and make the change, I have to go inside of the symbol and make the change. Um, so I usually put glows on after I'm done animating. Anyway, the quick way to do it on all these frames rather than do a custom thing is I can simply F8 on each of these. So now each frame is a movie clip, right? And then I can, with the select tool selected on that movie clip, I can select the glow here, I can hit the clip board and copy selected and then with these other layers turned off I can edit multiple frames hit control A without that first one selected I don't want that first frame because it already has a glow on it and I can do paste and if all three of these frames were selected when I hit that paste button all three of them now receive that glow filter which is pretty cool can do the same thing on this guy. I will select that glow, copy selected, come over here, select all with control A, and paste. Now you can imagine with a really long animation, that's big time saver, doing a filter to multiple frames all at once. Hit control enter, and now I've got a nice glow on my fire. If I come back out to scene one, because I did it to each frame individually, I can preview it with the glow as well, which is really nice. You can do the same thing with other filters. In Flash, you've got blur, you've got drop shadow. I only really usually use glow and blur, pretty much exclusively. Um, you can put multiple filters on there if you want to also play around with blur and glow, that works too. If you want a really nice uh, painted look in Flash. Uh, if you combine this along with linear and radial gradients, you can actually accomplish some pretty neat stuff. That's how I did this entire image that I have on my splash. This is all gradients and glows to pull off kind of this subtle painted effect, which means that someday I could actually go in and animate this in Flash with the gradients and glows all right there, and I can preview it all in Flash, which is kind of cool. So there's some pro tips on symbols, the differences between graphic symbols and movie clips. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something.